us celebrate Jesus. Yay. Give him a shout of praise. Yay. He's worthy. That's right. Oh, we're so glad that you're here. We're off to a great start. We are. Christmas at Oaks morning. Church. Hey, yes. before you're seated, give somebody a fist bump or a high five. Let yeah. them know that you're glad that they're here today. <laughs> yes. And you guys can be seated. Hey, we want to welcome all of you watching online today. Yes. Can we make some noise for the online yes. campus? Online. Let them know that yes. we're glad they're watching today. Wherever you're watching from, we're glad <laughs> that you're here. If we haven't had a chance to meet, my name is Chris. This is my wife, Kara. Yes. And we're so glad you've joined us for Christmas at That's Oak right. Church, one of our favorite days Absolutely. of the whole yep. year. And uh, we're just excited that you're here, especially if it's your first time. That's right. We know yes. we've got a lot of guests here today. You came for the llamas. Right. You came for the hot chocolate. We've got a great show in That's store. Right. But if you're here for the very first time, we want to welcome you. Thank yes. you for spending part of your weekend Absolutely. with us. And our heart here is that you would feel welcomed home. Yes. You would feel loved and seen and noticed and taken care of. And That's we'd right. love a chance to meet you and connect with you. Yeah. One of the ways that we do that is with the orange connect card. Right. It's right in the seat in front of you. If you would, if you're new, if you'd grab that, fill it out, let us know that you were here. And you can either drop it in the buckets as they go by in just a minute, or better yet, yeah. you can take it to the connect center where we have a very special right. gift for you. We'd love a chance to meet you right. after service. But uh, uh, once again, we're so glad you're with us today for Christmas at Oaks Church. That's right. Another way we'd love to connect with you is to pray for you. We'd love to know how we can be praying for you. So there's a blue card in the seat right in front of you. That's our prayer card. If you want to fill that out and just let us know any needs you have, especially right now during the holiday season, any way we can be praying for you, we believe because we see God answering prayers prayers all across our church. So we would love to pray for any need that you have. We pray over every card every Wednesday night at our prayer meeting at 7 p.m., which we would love for you to join us at. So let us know any prayer requests you have, any way we can come alongside and pray with you. Fill out that card. You can just drop it in the buckets in just a minute as they're passing by. Yeah, scripture tells us that we should bear one another's burdens. That's right. One of the ways we do that is by filling out these cards and praying yes. for one another. And as you said, the Wednesday prayer meeting yes. has been such a, a great experience this year. If you're it's new, amazing. you don't know about about that here's what we do every Wednesday at 7 we've got kids we've got youth going on right. but right in here for adults we spend some time singing right uh, I teach for just a short little right. bit and then we pray yeah we pray for these needs we powerful. pray for things going on yep. and uh, we'd love for you to join us this we Wednesday would. at 7 well I want to encourage the uh, ushers to make your way down front yes. Uh, the auditorium hosts as we prepare yes. to give today the tithes offerings yes, that's right. and our kingdom builders offerings and uh, so go ahead and make your way down front auditorium host and yes. want to just say thank you to all of you who give so faith, uh, faithfully right. every week here at Oaks Church your, your giving is making such a big yes, difference you know I was looking at it this uh, this week and we're on pace this year at our church to give two hundred and fifty thousand dollars just to local needs to families thank right you, here yes, in our own community amazing. we give a lot of money to missionaries and and things really all over that's the world incredible. but i'm so proud that we're taking care of our own right Me here too. in ellis county south yes. dallas county and uh your giving is making that's that right. happen that's right. uh, for your neighbor and so thank you for doing that yep. if you're giving today uh you can look at the screen the ways to give online right. are right there or you can just drop what you came prepared to give right in the buckets uh, put those cards in there as well and yes. once again we're just so honored that you're here and thank you thank you thank that's you right. for giving to the lord today let's just pray a blessing over this yes. offering Lord, thank you for the privilege that we have to worship you with our mouths, but also with our giving. To return to you, Lord, what belongs to you, the first 10%, but then to go above and beyond that and to give generously, to sow into the good soil of the local church where we're meeting needs and reaching people far from you. So bless it, multiply it. I pray also a special blessing on those who may be struggling financially uh, in their own finances right now. God, this is a hard time for a lot of people, and I just pray you'd open a door you would provide exactly what they need. You would do a miracle. Help them to know you see them, you love them, you care for them, you're with them. And I just pray blessing over them in the name of Jesus. For everybody in the room, yes, bless Lord. them, Lord, I pray. Yes. In your name, amen. 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 Thank amen. you for your giving. And uh, you guys can go ahead and start passing those buckets. Well, Kara, today is Christmas at Oaks Church. Right. It's our third annual Christmas at Oaks right. Church. Um, and uh, we've got a great show yes. in store for everybody so today. Fun. Are you excited for it? Yes. Okay, good, good. You got your glow sticks. You're ready to right. go. There you uh, go. We've got a lot of surprises, a nice. lot of things 
uh, in store for you. But today doesn't end the fun. No. Next week, December 18th, we also right. have a very special service. Yep. It's also a family service. Also one of my favorites. Um, yes. It's one of our favorites because our global so pastor, Pastor Scott, yes. will be speaking. And he reads it's the so Christmas fun. story. All the kids come up on stage. It's yeah. like a, a family tradition. Right here at Oaks Church. And, and this year, we've got a couple of special guests. Yeah, that's right. Um, national yes. recording artist Holly Wilson will yeah. be with us, and she's a part of the production today yes. as well. And also, uh, Clark Beckham, right. who was runner-up on American Idol yeah. season 14. So fun. He's going to be with us yeah. next week as well. It's going to be an incredible service. Yep. So we're back to our Don't normal ser it. service times, 9 and 10.30 next, next week. week. So make plans to attend. We'd That's love right. to have you. It's going to be a lot of fun. It is. Can't All wait. right. Are you guys ready to get started? Yay! You ready for Christmas at Oaks Church? All right. Come on. Let's get ready for the show. Yeah. Ladies and gentle elves, we only have 14 more days until Christmas, and there's still a whole lot of work we need to get done. So let's pick up those hammers, warm up those voices, because Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. You better watch out, but you better not cry. You better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Coming to town. He's making a list and checking it twice. You're gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're. Just don't care. Come on. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Little tin horns and little toy drums. Rudy Toot Toot and Rubber Tom Toms. Curly adults that toodle and cool. Elephant boats and kitty cars too. Oh, Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. One more time now. Santa Claus is coming to town. That was amazing, Whoa. everyone. Awesome. Great job. Nicely done. Awesome. Only a few yes. days until Christmas. I can't wait. See Way later, to go, guys. Tinsel, Blitz, and Amazing. Jolly. Amazing. Good luck, everyone. I think it's time for a break. I know it's a shame, but don't worry, Ooh. because the minute we come back, it's time for round two. two weeks Bye. Good luck, everyone. Great Good job. job. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm so tired. Come on. Come I can't on. feel my legs. Th th right there. You got them. How did you do an entire show on stage? No. Ah, ah, ah. You got I me. I did it again. Sorry. Oh. It's all right. Now we can rest up for a few minutes and go back to work like a couple of helpful little honeybees. Ah, honeybee. Yay, Christmas! Come on, Charlie, where's your holiday spirit? I'm gonna be honest with the jingle. Man, this whole North Pole gig is so draining. I don't remember being this difficult back at the reindeer shed before they laid me off. Uh, it's all right. I know you're new to the workshop, but once you've been here for 
three. Oh, thank you. No, 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 four, definitely four. 500 years or so, you'll get the hang of things. Do you want a refill on that hot cocoa? It's coffee. But, but you've already had some cups yes. of that today. Give, give. Yes, yes, no. Uh, how are you so joyful all the time? I'm actually suffering too. My Christmas bonus this year was brought down to 50 candy canes instead of 100. That's awful! And I know there's gonna be difficult times every now and then, but this season and this year is just more than I expected. And I know you only hired me after watching the movie Elf! Don't be so hard on yourself. You're gonna be a top shelf employee. You really think so? Yeah, you're the only one who can reach the top shelf. <laughs> Come on, Charlie. Come over here. No. You, you know you have to. Oh, I know. Look me in the eyes, Charlie, and repeat after me. We are gonna... We are gonna? Make it through... Make it through? Make it this through. Christmas season. This Christmas season? All together now. We are going to make it through this Christmas season. I don't oh think boy. I can make it through this Christmas season. Oh, boy. I don't think I can make it through the rest of this day. You know what I do <sighs> when I start to feel down and exhausted? You know where I find the refreshing for my soul? My Tempur-Pedic mattress. What you need, my friend, is a nap. Why don't you head back to bed for a few minutes? You mean in the bunkhouse? We're all 700 of us sleep. Mm -hmm. I don't need a nap. Just need some time to take a break from my brain. I've got just the thing for brain breaks. Oh, no. Let's in carols, la da 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 No, da, da, not da, da, that. Da, da. Anything but that. But I've got the perfect one for no, you. No, no. <laughs> I'll have a blue Christmas without you. Look, look. Christmas songs? Your thing. Christmas movies, my thing. Let's go see what's on TV. All right. Please. Better not drink that coffee. Oh, I will. Just turn it on. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Get a custom quote today from North Pole Sled Insurance and protect what matters most this Christmas oh. season, the longevity of your sled. Oh, get rid of it. No. And here they come, Blitzen's leading around the final turn and trying to keep Dasher behind him, but it looks like Prancer's going for the pass on the outside. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with gastrointestinal grinchiness or Scrooge syndrome, you may be eligible for financial compensation and legal representation. Hey, maybe we should call that number for you. <laughs> Very funny. Actually, I might write that down. I love this show! Pero ¿qué pasó aquí? La Navidad está destruida! ¿Y qué vamos a hacer? No, 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 this is way too dramatic. Next. Hey, look, North Pole's got talent on. Let's see what the next act is. It's going to be a singer. Not oh. always. Let's just watch and see what it is. Oh, no.
That was just amazing. I can't believe it. Didn't you say you didn't like Christmas music? It's in the movie, too. <laughs> Besides, that was amazing. You could feel the heat radiating off the TV. Yeah, Charlie, that's because it's a really old TV. Oh. <laughs> right. So, what do you think? Did this help to boost your energy levels a bit? Maybe a little, but what I need, what I really need is a long, long vacation. That would do it. But why are you so tired? Well, that is the question. I guess the answer is I've been distracted from all the important things. But you're the most focused person here. Uh, it's true. I'm the picture of wisdom in centuries of discipline. <laughs> Might say you're a top shelf employee. Even though I can't reach the top shelf like some of us. But you could fit up there. Oh, that's funny. You know, like a little elf on the shelf. Yep, that's a good one. Because <laughs> you're so short. I can't! Okay, okay, all right, good, fine. If the whole big picture here is that we're focusing on what matters, maybe we should take a look at how hard you worked this year. All right. Oh. Not short. You're short. New from Santa's Workshop and North Pole Toys Incorporated, it's the Great Adventure Pirate Ship. Get ready to swing in action this Christmas season. I can tell season. that's your work. How can you even tell? Because you missed a spot. Oh, come on. <laughs> Look at the molding on that chip. That has to be Tinsel's work. Oh, yeah, because that's immaculate. <laughs> Twirl and leap into the holiday season with the new Sugar Plum Ballerina doll. You can be the prima ballerina of your own Nutcracker performances this Christmas. More outfits and accessories sold separately. I wish I was that good dancing. Me too. I dance like a polar bear. Come on, you dance fine. In fact, you're so happy when you're dancing. Question. Is everyone so happy that as they look when they're dancing? Answer. Uh -oh. The happiness is real! <gasps> Take it easy. <coughs> Water? But it comes at a great price. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers to that. But those ballerina dolls were just such a challenge to build. You worked so hard on them this year. They're supposed to be the best toy of the season. And did you know that they actually dance too? They do? Yeah, it's incredible. I can't wait for everyone to see it.
Well, good morning, North Pole, and welcome back to the Frosty Forecast on Channel One. It's a beautiful day outside with temperatures peaking just around negative 40 degrees. Christmas is only 14 days away, which makes this the perfect day to get a whole lot of work done. That's right. Let me tell you, I'm sure glad I'm not one of Santa's elves today because they've got an extra busy week of overtime ahead of them. Man, that would be devastating. <laughs> And you know what else has been working overtime? Our power grid. We have a special message from North Pole Energy and Electricity. They're asking that all local elves please make sure you don't set your thermostat any higher than 10 degrees Fahrenheit. What? And now over to V with weather. Uh, well, that's just great. That's the last thing I needed to hear. They're trying to make 700 popsicles out of the elves. I mean, I guess I should turn down the thermostat there. Oh, right? no, sir, do not do that. But I have to. You cannot touch that no, dial. No, 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 oh, uh -uh. no, sir. Fine. Right there. Thanks for doing your part, Elves. And now for an update in the world of sports. Last night was the final round of the playoffs for the Snowball Fight World Championship. It looks like we're heading into the Global Series games with the Elves versus the Gnomes this year. All right, so make sure to get your tickets today and join us at the Igloo Dome Stadium next Saturday. Yesterday, we also saw another intense day of reindeer racing. That's right. Fan favorite Reindeer Common is out for the rest of the week oh. with an ankle injury of all no. things. We're hoping he makes a fast recovery in time to join Santa's sled team for Christmas. And lastly, ladies and gentle elves, we'd like to conclude our broadcast today by wishing a very happy birthday to those people who were born in the month of December. We hope your day is a jolly one and that this Christmas season is filled with peace on earth and joy, joy to the world. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room, and heaven and nature sing. And heaven Oh,
Christmas is a reminder to us that God kept his word. He sent his son Jesus into the world to save us from our sins and to bring us peace and joy. He's Emmanuel, God with us. But how many of you can relate to our fictional elf friend Charlie when you feel like maybe I'm just not feeling all of the peace and joy this holiday season. Maybe you're one of those people that's trying to make it through this year. It's so easy to get overwhelmed and discouraged for one reason or another. And so we look for relief. We look for happiness wherever we can find it. We look for things that we think will make our lives a little bit easier, a little bit better, be a little bit happier. But that stuff never lasts, does it? It's kind of like some of the gifts under the tree, even maybe this year, they can start to lose their shine pretty quick. Come on, how many of you parents have stayed up all night putting together that over-the-top gift for your two-year-old, only to have on Christmas morning them spend more time playing with the box it came in than with the gift that you got them? Man, as we get older, I'm not sure a whole lot changes. Our attention spans are pretty short. Our sense of satisfaction wanes pretty quick, and we're right back to chasing the next thing that we think is going to make us happier. It's always chasing. But the things that we typically chase and look for to bring us satisfaction, relief, happiness, they can't really make us happy, much less fill us full of joy, because they can't really change our circumstances, they don't solve our problems, and they can't really fix our issues the issues that try to steal our joy. Come on, if we were honest in here today, every single one of us in this place has something going on in our lives right now that's trying to steal our joy, that's trying to discourage us and keep us down. Well, we celebrate at Christmas Emmanuel, God with us. How come so often it feels like he's not? How come so often it feels like he's distant and we're alone and we're discouraged and there's things trying to rob our joy, whether it's grief over a loss, a job we don't like, a marriage that's seen better days, financial pressure and stress, a season of life we just wish would come to an end because we're not quite sure how much longer we can take it or just that underlying feeling that we're just not good enough. Sometimes it feels like God's not there and we're all alone in this. You ever felt that way? Yeah, I think it's pretty common for a lot of us. You know, that very first Christmas, the one in the Bible, was a time where God's people were just trying to make it through. It was a, it was a dark and difficult time. It wasn't a lot of reason for hope or peace or joy. God's people were living under an oppressive Roman government. Things were hard. You look at the characters in that first Christmas story in Luke chapter 2. I mean, you go down the list. Every one of them had an issue that was trying to rob their joy, that was discouraging to them. I mean, look at Joseph, Jesus' father. He was considering divorcing Mary because she's pregnant with the baby, and that baby's not his. It's a challenge. Mary was scared to death. She's pregnant, but no one's buying her story. Pregnant with God's baby? Yeah, right, Mary, you're sick. Then there's the shepherds in the field that no one paid much attention to. They're working hard, spending so many hours away from their family, but they're barely making ends meet. Then there's the old man, Simeon, and the old widow, Anna. They're in the temple. They're there every day praying, hoping that God would show up and change the circumstances for their people, change the circumstances in their own lives. God, would you just... Would you just show up and do something? Not a lot of hope, not a lot of peace, not a lot of joy. I bet for all of them, at one time or another, God felt kind of distant, like maybe he wasn't relevant to their daily lives. And I think so many people today, they stay away from church. They don't give God a second chance, maybe even a first chance, because they just feel he's not relevant. What does he have to do? What does he have to say with the issues that I'm going through right now? It doesn't feel close to me. I want you to know that's common. I want you to know at one time or another, we've all felt that way. We've all been there. But I also want you to know that it's 
in our darkest days and in our lowest moments that actually the love and the presence of God often shines the brightest. And to each and every one of these people who had challenging circumstances in that very first Christmas, they were the ones who got to see first that the Messiah had come, that Jesus had been born, that there was now a reason to be hopeful and a source of peace. It's to these people in tough situations that the angel came to give a message. And the angel said, do not be afraid. Oh, what a great word for us today. So many of the things that are trying to rob our joy also keeps us afraid and uncertain about what the future looks like. The angel says to all of them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. For today in the town of David, a Savior has been born. He's the Messiah. He's the Lord. Jesus had been born. God had kept his word and now hope and peace and joy were possible. Now the interesting thing to me about the Christmas story, about Mary, Joseph, the shepherds, the old couple in the temple, is that even after Jesus was born and they saw that he had been born, their circumstances didn't change immediately. They still had the same challenges after Jesus was born that they did before Jesus was born. Some of you have made a decision in your life to follow Jesus, maybe even been living for Jesus for a long time, and you know just because you say yes to Jesus doesn't mean all your problems magically go away. There's still challenges, there's still difficulty, there's still some insecurities and some uncertainties along the way. But you know what did change? You know what does change when Jesus enters the picture? Your perspective changes. All of a sudden, you see the world in a different way. All of a sudden, you see your circumstances in a little bit of a different way. All of a sudden, you do have hope, you do have peace, and you do have joy because you know salvation has come. I have hope. I have a future. He calls me by name. He gives me a reason for living. And I know my circumstances may still be challenging, but my life isn't defined by my circumstances. My life is defined by God. You know, I think sometimes maybe we look for happiness and joy in all the wrong places. I think sometimes we look for God in the wrong places. Sometimes we think God only shows up in the mountaintop moments, in the victory, in the miracle. At some time, down the road, in the future, when things are a little bit better and our circumstances are a little bit different, we think maybe, maybe one day God will show up. But I want you to know that God shows up, maybe even he's the closest to us when things are the toughest. That maybe it's in our doubts and it's in our insecurities and our difficulties and our inadequacies in the challenges and the hardships of life that his love and his presence actually shine the brightest. Maybe it's in those moments we can see him the clearest and recognize, oh, he's with me right here in the midst of it. Not tomorrow when I get my act together, but he's here right now in some of my darkest moments. And it's possible to have joy in the midst of tough circumstances. It's possible to be physically tired but full of joy. We're not talking about happiness. Happiness is based on your circumstances. It's based on your emotions. It's based on the gift under the tree or the thing that you're chasing, and it comes and goes, always chasing happiness. But joy, on the other hand, joy comes from your identity. Joy comes from knowing where your hope really comes from. Joy is recognizing that the message of Christmas is that hope is here and that hope has a name, and his name is Jesus. He alone is our joy. If you're here today, young or old, and you say, Pastor Chris, I need that. I want that. The truth is, I've been living my life in my own strength. I got the weight of the world on my shoulders. I have been everything you just described, tired, overwhelmed, discouraged, chasing after some of the wrong things. It always leaves me empty. I thought that relationship would fix it, but it didn't. I thought that new house would make me feel better, but it didn't. I thought that promotion would solve my problems, but it didn't. I thought the vacation would give me a little bit of peace, but it didn't. And I'm always chasing. 
I need something a little more lasting. I need something a little deeper. I want you to know what you're looking for is found only in Jesus, in your identity being in him, in him being the source of your hope, something that goes beyond your circumstances. If you're here today and you want joy, I mean like real joy in the midst of all the chaos, it comes from surrendering your life completely to Jesus, putting your faith and your trust in him. And I think there may be some people here today, you've never done that. I'm not talking about have you been to church before. I'm talking about have you fully let go and trusted God with your whole life? Money, relationships, future, I mean all of it. That's where true peace and joy comes from, trusting God. If you've never done that, I'm gonna give you an opportunity in just a moment to put your faith and trust in Jesus and begin a relationship with him. Some of you may have been living for Jesus for a while, whether you have or you haven't. What we have to do each and every day after we say yes to Jesus is we have to do what Jesus tells us to do in John chapter 15. He was giving instructions to his disciples and he says to them, now here's what I want you to know. The way to bear fruit, the way to have joy, the way to really live this thing is to remain in me and I will remain in you. We're going to do this thing together. I'm going to be with you. I'm going to send my spirit to live inside of you. You'll never have to be alone. There will never be a circumstance too great for me to help you overcome. But you got to remain in me. you got to wake up every day and say, my life is yours. I give it to you. I don't trust what I see. I trust the one who sees all things. So, Lord, I'm a little concerned. I'm a little scared. i got some issues going on. But I, I, I will stay close to you because I know that's how you're going to stay close to me. And then in verse 11, John chapter 15, verse 11, Jesus says, I've told you all of this. We've put on this Christmas at Oaks Church. The whole message is driving to this point. It's what our whole church is about. It's what Jesus says. He tells his disciples, I've told you all of this so that my joy may remain in you and that so your joy may be complete. The joy you're looking for that goes above your circumstances is found only in the person of Jesus. He is the promise of God, and he's here for you today. If you're here and you would say, Pastor Chris, would you pray for me? I need that joy. I need to begin a relationship with Jesus. I've never confessed my sin and trusted him with my life. Maybe some of you, you need to come back home. You need to rededicate your life to Jesus. Maybe you did it as a kid, but man, you've spent decades living for yourself, walking away from God. Today is a day that I pray you sense that he is not an angry father out to get you, but he's a loving, kind father who welcomes you home. My grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in your weakness. He's here for you today. So if you're ready to make a decision to give your life completely to him, get your life right with God, rededicate your life, this is your moment. On the count of three, I'm just going to ask you to raise your hand. Say, Pastor Chris, pray for me. I'm ready to get my life right with God today. And God is going to enter your story in a whole new way. And he's going to bring peace. And he's going to bring joy. Your circumstances may not change overnight, but I can tell you this. The peace and the joy of God are going to go with you because God is with you. Salvation is here. So if that's you today, you want to pray that prayer on the count of three, just lift up your hand. We're going to believe together that God's about to do a new thing. One, two, that's you. Lift it up. Three, raise your hand right now, right now. Lift it up. Lift it up till I can see it. Anybody over here on the left? Anybody over here? Yeah, I see your hand, buddy. Yep, I see your hand, and I see your hand, and I see your hand, ma'am, right there in the middle. I see your hand. Yeah, buddy, I see your hand. Anybody in the center section? I see you, buddy. You're standing up. Yes. Anybody in the center section? There's adults. There's kids. I see you, 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 and you. Yeah, back in the back. I see you, too. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, I see your hand. Praise God. Yes, yes, yes. I see you, and I see you. God sees you. Anybody over here to my right? Hold it up high. I see you in the back. I see you in the back. Man, the glow stick is high. Yeah, I see you all over the place. Let me just tell you, young and old alike just made a decision to get their lives right with God and begin a relationship with Jesus. I never want us to overlook or look down on a five or a six-year-old raising their hand for salvation. It was at five years old I gave my life to Jesus, and I, I've been living for him, doing my best ever since. It's not been perfect, 
But can I tell you, the greatest testimony is not to go off the rails and come back. It's from a young age to keep living for Jesus the whole time. And I believe some in this room, young people, are making a decision right now that will define the rest of your life. But for those of us who have gone off the rails, aren't you glad that we serve a God of grace and mercy and forgiveness who says, I see you at 45, and I see you at 55, and I'm welcoming you home at 65? I see you. God sees all of you that just raised your hands. We're going to pray a prayer. I'm going to ask you just to repeat this prayer after me out loud. The power is not in the words that we're about to pray. The power is in your heart to believe that these words are true. And if you believe these words are true, your sins are going to be forgiven. You have the hope of heaven in the presence of the living God inside of you. It's a big deal. It's new life. And so let's repeat after me. All of you who just raised your hand to get right with God, along with everybody in here who loves the Lord. Would you just repeat out loud after me? Let's make this a declaration. Are you ready? Here we go. Dear Jesus, I confess that I'm a sinner, and I need a Savior. I believe you are who you say you are, that you died on the cross for my sin, that you rose again, that you're alive today, and you have the power to forgive me. So I ask you now to forgive me of my sin. I give you my life, and I choose to live for you now and forever. In your name I pray. Amen. Come on, can we celebrate new life? Praise God. Peace, hope, and joy. Salvation is here. Hallelujah. To those of you who raised your hand, again, young or old, maybe parents you're sitting with, your child, they raise their hands. the first time you've ever seen them do that. Come on, take that. That's a big deal. I want to encourage all of you, young or old, whoever you are in this place, to after service, right after we're done, we've got a few stations in the back, tables and some of our team members, and they're going to be waving at you. They're wearing shirts, Dream Team shirts. Would you stop by that station? We want to give you a Bible, and we just want to help you to know the next steps. And I encourage you, this isn't just an emotional response. For, for those of you that made this decision, this is the beginning of new life. This is the beginning of real joy. So make sure you stop to one of our team members. we got a, a Bible for you. want to help you with next steps. We're going to walk this with you because at Oaks Church, no one, nobody walks alone. We walk it together. So glad that you were here today and that you prayed that prayer. God is good. Well, we're not quite done with uh, our, our show. How many of you want to see the rest of the story for Charlie and Jingle? Are you guys ready? Okay, let's pick it back up. You know, Charlie, I think this was exactly what I needed. I know. It's like I've had a big breath of fresh air. And I feel like your heart grew three sizes today. Really? Yeah, now it's the correct size for your abnormally tall body. But seriously, how are you feeling? Do you mean emotionally? No, I meant your gastrointestinal grinchiness. Of course I mean emotionally. Are you going to make it through this Christmas season? Well, I realized I've been focusing just on making it through instead of actually being a part and experiencing this joy. Yeah, me too. I'm tired of just trying to muscle through it all the time. That's because you don't come with us to the gym. Come on, I'm serious. I'm ready to have some Christmas joy for the real reason, you know? I know, it's like I've always known the reason for this season, but I never let it really affect my day-to-day. -day. Yeah, but I think it's important for me to remember that joy is so much more than just happiness. And I know where it comes from. It doesn't matter what's going on around me. And it's us, up to us to decide what we do with this joy. Man, thank you so much, Jingle. No problem. Now let's get back to the toy shop. All right. I was stuck down in a rut, my smile lost its shine Going through the motions but my heart was running blind I couldn't skate away this funk no matter how I tried But I found joy in my life I found joy and it opened up my eyes Gave me wings and halo rings and taught me how to fly Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I feel like a million lights I found joy in my life. And coming like yeah. Oh, I found joy in my life. And coming like yeah. Oh, I found joy in my life. Thought to ease the 
somber with some coffee and a nap. Got myself so busy, yeah, I fell into that trap. It was clear vacations and caffeine just won't suffice. I found joy in my life. I found joy in yeah, the ocean is dead high. Took a friend remembering the blessings that are mine. Woo, 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 woo. I feel like a million lights. I found joy in my life. It got me like yeah. Dancing in his power now and I'm on my own. Mm -hmm. I'm living in his light, cause I found joy. Oh, I Thank you so much for joining Oaks Church on our YouTube channel. Our prayer is that you were encouraged and your faith was strengthened today. That's right. And we want to let you know that we would love to connect with you through our online family in our OC Online Facebook group. To do that, you can like our Oaks Church page and click Join Group. And make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and press the bell for notifications. You'll have access to life-giving sermons and worship that will be a blessing to you and your family. Yeah, we'd love to have you join us live for our Sunday and Wednesday services. We hope you have a great day today. Thank you for watching and God bless.